Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit small, but um, just makes the overall car a little bit nicer. Um, what I'm doing is I'm actually replacing the plastic um, weather shield cover, cowl, whatever you want to call it. I actually, um, during my earlier days of installing the ECU, this was for some reason on the two really hard so I ended up getting a puller on it like a gear puller I don't know why I did that but it ended up snapping this cover so that looks really ugly it's out of out of color it's been in the sun for too long um, I have cleaned this one up and I got this from the wreckers um, to replace on the car so really simple job I'm gonna remove the color the rubber sorry there's a plastic cover on top of the 13 mil nuts and then you take the 13 mil nuts off and then you can shake shake and bake yeah so the idea is just to Yeah, so I'm going to take off these bit as well, give it room, and then I should be able to um, just take that one off. Right, so I got the, uh, the panel filter for the air out, the cover, and now I think you can just lift it up like that. Okay, that comes off, and that's going to go in the bin along with um, uh, the rain tray cover. This has got a little bit of a leak too. That's potentially going to pose a bit of a risk for the panel filter. Spare screws. But yeah. What I might do here is this quite seems it's leaking, it probably is. Oh, that looks good. Um, yeah, I might just give this uh, give this a nice pack and um, yeah, I'll just give it a back and give, give it a clean. Alright, so I just did a bit of a uh, reverse of the install. I got it through the top, slid it down, and I was able to get these, um, get the, the, the weather shield or rain guard on, and now I'm just going to tighten these nuts down. Rusting. And then lastly, get the um, uh, pollen filter. I think. Get the oh, there you go. That goes like that. Um, and that should, should line up perfectly. So, not a big fix or a mod by any stretch. But it's just nice to refresh some plastics and in the future if it fades I am going to spray it with Rust-Oleum um, maybe matte black or something or even gloss black I quite like the gloss black, black color on the roof uh, where is it gone uh, I think that's it Put that on. Oh, 
tub run. That's gonna help hold it down. I dare say. Hold that all down. There you go. All done. And these, because it's all broken and busted, is going to go in a bin. Put a bonnet to replace. Uh, I thought about getting it wrapped, but you know, it's the price of another bonnet, same colour, it's probably easier. But yeah, I have a shot of inside the car. I haven't really done much uh, until someone asked recently what's happening with the interior. It's still there. Um, love the red Recaros. They come up so well. It's red and black actually, not completely uh, red. Um. Hi guys, you just saw me um, replace the window cow. So in small touches um to get everything nice and oem looking um speaking of uh, getting things nice i've just acquired um some what looks to be spaces so i'm going to now get them fitted or get a set fitted on the rears um because i kind of want Fitment's nice already as it is, but I kind of want to push it out um, more towards the fender because if you look at the front, okay, if you look at the front, it's um, it's it's flush. You know, it's actually even with the fender, so I want that get that fitment pushed out a little bit. So I'm thinking maybe 10 mil. Uh, in this kit, it looks to be 10mm oh, 10 and 20mm. Uh, I don't think I'll need 20mm. Honestly, I don't think 20mm is going to be the size for me. I'm going to try 10mm first on the rear end. Um, got my tools out. Going to try and crack open. The wheels get it jacked up and give it a go alrighty so I've cracked the nuts on that side here is the set so I've got all of the short bolts for um, the 10 mils and this is actually from ECS tuning would you believe that so that's kind of cool um, not that I've purchased anything from ECS before but I've heard all or uh, all mixed mixed uh, reviews but I'm gonna jack this up now and um, zoom out a bit and there you go so I'm gonna buzz it all off now alrighty that's the wheel off I'm gonna wire brush the rust off it as much as I can while I'm here Okay, oops, don't know where I'm recording, it's a bit dark, probably should have my, I'll get some light. Alright, there's some light, got the wire brush onto it, and that's good. So, I'm going to pop that on, I think it needs to sit like that, and space out 10 millis. So, that's going to be interesting how this is going to go on. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to just pop the wheel on and then see um, how difficult it is. So, here we go. Alrighty, so that wasn't too bad actually. First time doing this sort of stuff. Not really into suspension stuff, but um, yeah, got it on with not too much trouble at all. So, you can see there. ECS tuning spaced out and to compare the um, OEM bobs for the BBS's they're about you know I'd say 5-10 mil longer 
just to give it a bit more bite because um, that's what normally gets in to the hub um, just to give that a uh, bit more fl um, uh, bite to hold up there so let's drop the car down All right. and see now how much that pushes it out so that's yeah I think 10 mil is good don't know if that's going to be any rubbing there but it's not too bad pushes the rear bit out too that's yeah definitely better because this one you can see there um, isn't flush and the wheel doesn't stick out as much but now I've got 10 mil on. Looks a bit more tough, doesn't it? There we go. Let's do the other side now. Can't wait. Alrighty, the car is now down, and as you can see, it's nice and flush from all angles. That's, you know, on the verge there. It's actually quite flush, and the other side is now done also, and. Um, yeah, like that's now matching uh, the fronts. So that's a wrap for today. Um, I'll try and get another. There you go. That's what it looks like now. Okay, I'll zoom out. That's what it looks like from the rear. There you go. And with these, um, with these spacer kits, I had to go over the nuts quite a few times to get it to, um, to you know, set in and uh, talk down properly. It just uh, requires a bit more attention. So if you're new to this, keep going in a star shape until it actually starts to tighten up. If you leave it loose, that's when you see memes of people's cars flying off the, you know, the side of the road in front of them. So you don't want that. Go around, go around again, get it all talked up. I went over it like 20 times and it's and it still was just about to get tight. So keep going. Um, man, this wheel is so dirty. But that's it guys for today's video. Um, I might bundle this with the uh, changing of the windscreen uh, cow. So you might see that as well. But uh, if you are watching, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So it finished, but I haven't quite yet. So tell me what you think about this Rhino Rack sticker uh, to replace the... It was a Rhino Rack with a, with a Rhino on it. And it, uh, the model of it, Rhino Rack Roadie. Can't find that, but I found Rhino Rack sticker in black. And it came out white. I think it completes the look. And um, yeah, why not... Uh, why not uh, put it back so yeah now I'm really going thanks a lot for watching see you guys in the next video